Hello, my name is Mike Mahan. I'm here in my home bar and today we're going to make a uh, variation on the black and tan. Now many of you have probably ordered a black and tan at some point in an Irish pub here in the States. Uh, if you find your way to Ireland, please ask for a half and half because a black and tan has a very negative connotation over there and you'll probably be put out on your ear. What the drink is, if you're not familiar, is a layered uh, drink of, of two distinct beers. The traditional black and tan is always served when ordered as a Guinness floated over Bass Pale Ale. Um, as you can imagine, there's, there's many variations on this. A black and blue is Guinness over Blue Moon. What we're going to make today is a snake bite which is Guinness over Strongbow Cider. Also uh, Black Cherry. Black Cherry is Guinness over Samuel Adams Cherry Wheat. Very good. Uh, Black Tire. Guinness over Fat Tire. And a couple interesting ones I, I personally haven't tried but I, I kind of laugh at the names is the Black Death which is Guinness over Rogue Dead Guy Ale. I'm going to have to try that one out. And last one, uh, Blaxican, which is uh, Guinness over Modelo. So what you need to uh, make a black and tan are just a few things. Uh, pint glass. This is a, actually a half pint glass. It allows me to share with my wife. But it, you notice it's a tulip shape and it'll allow the Guinness to kind of come down the sides and not blend with uh, uh, the bottom layer. The other thing you'll need is uh, a loggerhead. Uh, this is a uh, turtle that's uh, used for serving up uh, black and tans. The uh, turtle sits over the pint glass to allow Guinness to be poured over and such blended in, in, in the glass. Or you can use a uh, this is not a regular spoon, you can use a regular spoon. This is for making Irish coffees. This I got at the Jameson Distillery in Dublin. Um, but it'll mix up uh, black and tan real nice as well. Now the key to making um, black and tan or snake bite in our case today, in my opinion, is the bottom layer you want to pour and leave just a slight slight head on it not not too much of a head just a slight head so you want to pour the first layer at a 45 degree angle kind of roughly um, so you create just a little bit of head and to me that helps the Guinness sit on top easier and not blend the um, second stage will be of course putting the Guinness over the top. Now, I made the mistake, and I see a lot of other people make the mistake, of trying to be too dainty and pouring the Guinness over. You can actually be really, really rough with the pouring that Guinness. As long as you're pouring it towards the center of the spoon, everything will be fine. It'll blend nice. And let's go ahead and make one. So we're going to go ahead and start with our strong bow, and I'm going to shoot for about half a glass here. Now just a 45 degree angle, we'll tilt it, pouring it pretty tight. Got it right about halfway. I'm using a traditional pint glass. Now I've already opened my Guinness since I got Guinness drought in a can. Um, if I open it, let the oxygen or the nitrogen and blend and pour it right away. It makes for a very, very foamy top that needs to settle. As it is, it's still going to be pretty foamy, but uh, we'll give it a shot here now that this has been open about oh a minute or two. So um, we're just going to, like I say, more aggressively pour it over the top of our loggerhead turtle here, and um, we'll hope for the best.
And if you can see, I mean, the nitrogen in the Guinness is doing its job, but it, um, it blended a little low. As that settles, that Strongbow and um, Guinness will separate maybe a little bit. Or maybe not in this case. Um, I typically, uh, at this point, can take the logger head out and just top up with Guinness. You can see that clearly you're not seeing that Guinness uh, blend down very far. Guinness is a funny thing. It kind of has a wave in there as it's settling. Anyway, the next part's the best part, and that's drinking it. From about down to here, all you really taste is the Guinness. And then you start to take a, taste a pretty distinct mixture of the Guinness and the Strongbow, and then by the end you're just drinking Strongbow. So you're really getting three drinks in one on this. Uh, something fun to do, something easy to do. You can have fun with it with guests. You can of course order one at any bar or pub. And uh, all I can say is enjoy. Thank you.